Well, you step up on the deck in the early morning mist, praying hopefully that you won't miss. You strip out some line, practice a thousand times. God says that a head moving to the left. See a tail fin swirl, nothing matters in the world but the perfect presentation of the fly. You lift your rod tip, you pull back and flip. Watch that perfect loop as it unfurls the cast. Got something here. Nice crappie. Fishing split rock today. There it is. Power Team Lures, it's producing. Okay, folks. Finicky Ticklers working at split rock. I thought it was a bass as it was fighting me. Got him up. It's a decent crappie. Caught him on the Finicky Tickler. Power Team Lures, it's working. They're finicky. So we're going to put this guy back. Oh, yeah. Alright guys, welcome back. We're here in Split Rock Reservoir fishing the dam right now. And I'm doing something that's not typically a summertime technique, but I found it to be very effective when the fish school up right here on this dam. What I'm doing is I'm throwing a little 1 16th ounce jig head and a tiny 2 inch power bait curly tail grub. And what I'm doing is just flipping it right up against the structure and letting it fall. And a lot of times, the fish will hit it on the fall and start ripping your line out. And so you got to be quick when you see that happening. I find this to be a very good technique in the fall when the fish are um, going into their wintering holes. I know this spot right here is a great place to catch bass when they're in the wintering holes. And when they are, you can throw anything from blade baits to uh, drop shots and my favorite, a crappy jig. And right now what I've been doing is getting a lot of crappy biting this. And I actually had a good smallmouth on too. So there are smallmouth mixed in with the crappie. And a lot of times when you're fishing these small jigs, the bites feel very similar. So you want to set the hook no matter what, whether it feels like a sunfish bite or a big smallmouth. There's a huge school of them right here. You can see. Oh yeah, there it is. What's that inside that bass's mouth? Oh, it's the finicky tickler. They're loving it today. The bite's been a little tough. We're fishing. There's a storm that's coming through as we speak. And got got this little largie with the finicky tickler. So let's get him up into the boat. There it is. That tickler's working all day. Ah. <laughs> Okay, just working that tickler. I'm throwing it out, jigging it up and down, letting it hit the bottom, and this guy hit it right by the shoreline. There he is. Say hi to TV, Mr. Bass. There it is. You can't go wrong. With with the tickler, I just like to... Here, here we go, we got one. Oh, he's got a bite. He's going up under the boat. That's nice. <laughs> They're loving the power team today here. There you go, tickler bass. You just th I'm throwing it out, just rising it up right off the bottom, letting it fall, twitch, twitch, let it. And they're hitting it right on the drop. And we're finding them all around wood. So if you see any wood jutting out in the water, cast that, cast your plastic by it. There you go. Throwing the Senko out to this uh, shoreline right here with the lily pads off. There you go. Him right out of there. Dog me. Get him up. There he is. Not too big. This is what we've been doing today. Rich is throwing his finicky tickler. I'm throwing a four inch Senko and a watermelon color. 
Not a bad little fish. About a pound. There he is. Finicky Tickler, Power Team Lures. That's a nicer one. That's the best fish of the day for me. Let's get him up. I'm tickling him. Rich got me hooked. Power Team Lures, man. Nice split rock bass. There's Eric catching pickerel with the frog. We're missing some big bites back here. Big bass, guys. We're missing some huge bass. They're coming up and they're just going completely out of the water for the frog. I hope we get some on video for you. They're huge. Feels almost like, oh, now it's on. I'd pull the flats for sunrise. Keep sun it real here on set. Split Rock today. I would throw the fly, catch him redfish on low tide if I had time. Time tackle. Catching bit out on the flats. Why swatting at the nets? So quiet you can hear them buzzing in your ears. Those duck ass nets.